Hello, this is Paul from Quicken Mobile, and during the course of this video, we are going to be going over the Airhawk Power Folding Wheelchair, giving our 2020 update. A couple things that I would like to point out first and foremost, you can visit us on quickandmobile.com. If you go to our website, you'll notice two things. First and foremost, on the top of every page, we have a toll-free telephone number. We're available from Monday through Friday. 8 a.m. through 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and we have a chat icon as well to allow you to have easy access to our website. If you arrive at our website, mobile looks very similar. You scroll down until you see the click here for wheelchairs, and then the Airhawk is pretty much right at the top. So the Airhawk, I do want to point out, Quick and Mobile is a United States company. We have our warehouses in the States. We stock all parts. Everything that we would need to manage this chair is stored in the United States of America. Additionally, if you would like more information, this is a great time to pause the video. Quicknmobile.com. What we showed you right there. Okay. So now that that is taken care of, and, and while I'm thinking about it, there is a Samson case with an Electra 7 folded up in the Samson case. A couple optional accessories that you could get with your Airhawk leg extensions and a headrest. On our website, quickandmobile.com, we have multiple picture galleries that will show the Airhawk fully dressed up. But the point here is I would like to go over the 2020 or 2020 updates or 2020 review on the Airhawk Power Folding Wheelchair with a complete set of measurements. So the first thing that I would like to do is just point out some of the actual basic features of the chair itself. Now the chair itself, it has a joystick that attaches, it has a joystick that can be, or joystick that detaches from the chair, and I'll show you how that works right away. Um, before we get into that, we'll just kind of show you how easy it is to work with the joystick. So if I press this button right here, that's going to power the joystick on. That's the on button. That's the off button. We have a horn. The Airhawk goes up to four miles per hour and we have a speed indicator as well. So for now, we'll just go ahead and turn the joystick off. We'll take a look at the updated buckle. We have an arrow that points uh, in either direction to indicate how to properly attach the joystick. We take the joystick apart and we look at, we have the uh, an easy kind of cross. We have a, a little plastic separator there and it makes it, there we go. We have a little plastic separator that makes it very simple to keep the pins intact, very important. There is a knob underneath the actual arm of the chair that will allow you to take the joystick off. So taking the joystick off the chair is very simple. And like I said, we can mount it on the left-hand side of the chair as well. It's very simple. So both right-handed users and left-handed users can operate the chair. And you can see how easy it is to put the joystick back on the chair itself. I just connect the arrows and connect the dongle and that's it. It's done, I can't separate it. The joystick's ready for action. A few features that we'll think about with this chair, both arms are fully adjustable. Okay, so the arms actually can go all the way behind the chair itself for an easy side mounting or dismounting. Now the foot rest on the Airhawk does not fold up flush entirely to the chair but the footrest does reverse. And I've made, I've made videos about how the footrest reverses. You could subscribe to our YouTube channel or you could look on our website, quickandmobile.com. And in the video operating section, we show you where the footrest reverses itself. So I can easily mount or dismount on either side of the chair because the actual arms do fold fully behind the chair itself. Now, we'll take a look at some of the actual components of the chair before we get into um, really tearing the chair apart with our measuring tape and showing you all of the different measurements. Now, this chair is very unique in the way that, similar to the other chairs that we have, the, the batteries themselves 
are stored in the arms of the chair. Okay, so the battery is right in the actual arm of the chair. There are a lot of power folding wheelchairs that have a big cumbersome case underneath the chair where the battery is stored underneath the chair on the floor. Okay, so it's, it's not shielded from the elements and it can make changing the battery relatively cumbersome. So we'll take a look at the front of the chair again. Now, by the way, the chair right now is in freewheel. I'm six feet tall. I weigh approximately 200 pounds. And if I wanted to push somebody in the chair, you see that I have plenty of ability to push somebody without having to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. So it's very easy for me as an actual caretaker to either push the chair, and we don't have them here, or mount an attendant controller bracket on the back of the chair so the actual joystick can be mounted to the back of the chair. So it can be a power chair. Now, of course, we have the cat helping our, with our video as well. The cat doesn't run away from the chair. So if you have pets, a lot of the times uh, the pets can be integrated right in with your experience with these chairs. No problem at all. We've had people that have little dogs. The little dog goes for a ride in the on top of the under seat basket in the chair. Now cats, I imagine they think about this just like it's a bag. So he's, he's uh, pretty excited here and he's uh, getting right on board. So we'll, we'll kind of take a little bit of a rest there and we'll get back to the actual batteries here. So the batteries, these are non-spillable lithium ion batteries. They are travel safe. That means that this chair, you can take this chair in an airplane. 12 amperage hour batteries. Each battery will give you up to, uh, up to 13 miles of use and utility. So we give you a total of two batteries. One comes from the factory. We give you another free battery entirely with the accessory package. So there's a whole conglomeration of free accessories that we give you with the chair right on quickandmobile.com. I showed you in the beginning of the video you can look at the Airhawk and look at all the different free accessories that we give you. But we give you several hundred dollars of, of uh, value here with our free accessories. So the battery itself, it just very easily slips into the, the arm of the chair. And we have a little plug that it very easily uh, plugs right into the battery itself. Now these chairs are available multiple color options. Silver, red, of course, blue yellow, black, and pink are what we have for the Air Hawk. So we have several options. Now the Air Hawk, we have our central computer unit, weatherproof central computer unit underneath the chair. We have two weatherproof 180 watt electromagnetic motors underneath the chair. These look like anti-tip wheels. These are actually a kickstand. And it's a kickstand that will allow you to roll the chair, which I will demonstrate once the chair is folded up. But these are not actually anti-tip wheels. That's not the utility and the purpose of these little wheels. Um, this chair, you can see right now, it is pushing. It's in free wheel mode. There is a switch on the back of either motor. I pull that switch back. That locks the chair and it allows the chair to be an actual power wheelchair. So if I turn the actual joystick on when I have the chair locked, forward, backward, I have a lot, either, either side, I have a lot of different possibilities with this chair. And it's, it's Sensi Touch joystick technology, which makes you have the ability to really have a joystick that's extremely versatile. Okay, so we'll, we'll kind of get back here and we'll look in the back of the chair again. A couple, a couple more features that I want to point out. We do have inherent safety features like the, the reflective material. And, of course, we have the wiring harness that would allow you to move the joystick from the right side to the left side very easily. Two 180-watt motors. I've already been over that. We can put the chair in freewheel mode so the chair can move forward and back. Um, but before we really do anything else, before we fold the chair, before we go for a little, uh, maybe a little test, let's get some measurements out. Now we do have, now the chair itself is made of 7003 grade aluminum. So basically aircraft grade aluminum. 
We see the wheels, both the front and the back wheels, tubeless wheels. These are perfect for going over different terrains. They, they typically don't chew up the carpet. They don't chew up the floor. We've had nobody complaining that they have. So they're not going to streak. I know that that is an issue with certain chairs. And then of course the back wheels, there's no inner tube here. So if you're outside and you dro drove over a nail or a tack or something that could uh, cause damage to the actual wheel with an inner tube and leave you stranded, that's not the case with these wheels right here. Chair is available indoor and outdoor use. Um, gravel, light gravel can be handled, grass, the chair can actually go up in the ADA compliant slope. It can go down an ADA compliant slope without any problem and beyond. And because this has two posi traction electromagnetic motors, the chair will not, if you're going down a slope, it will not go faster than four miles per hour. The chair will not get away from you. And when you take your hand off the joystick, it engages the brakes instantly and immediately. So it's a very safe chair to actually use. Let's take a look at some of these statistics here. The back wheels are eight inch rear wheels. And if we took a look at how wide the wheel is, it's about eight by two, and it does have a good amount of texture to give you a good amount of grip. The type of polyurethane that we use here, it doesn't wear very quickly. We've already had this chair doing some outdoor driving cleaned right up, no problem. Um, some of the chairs, they'll use a, a gray to polyurethane for the wheels that are gray. Now what happens when you use that gray polyurethane, you, you'll be driving the chair, you'll go over some sediment, and it basically puts micro lacerations in the actual polyurethane themselves, and the chair looks dingy. Now, unless you're going to brush it and clean it with bleach on a regular basis, the first time that you go outside is the last time that you have a chair that has the appearance of being a brand new chair. So that's exceptionally frustrating. Now, these chairs, we're, we're aware that they, in some ways, are like a sewing pattern. Other companies can duplicate specifications. And other companies can slap on just about any price tag they want to slap on the chair. Now the issue is, if we take a look at all of the fasteners that fasten this frame together, and let's just put you in the mindset that you wanted to, you're looking to save a buck, you found a chair that's an absolute steal on the internet, uh, but you bought it from a, a company that you really don't know their, their phone number, they may or may not have an email, they may or may not have a chat, and let's just say that you, you were real happy for the first, oh, I don't know, six months, and then just due to vibration, these parts right here start to become stripped, start to lose their ability to hold the frame of the chair together, which you can see is pretty sturdy. And then of course, they don't have the ability to tighten or loosen or even come apart. So the chair that, was a, that you thought was a steel, almost too good to be true, ended up being too good to be true because the parts that hold the chair together themselves were where a lot of money was saved. And of course, we don't know if everybody else's chair is an FDA registered and approved medical device, which this one is, means no taxes for you. You have the ability in most cases to write the chair off. Uh, but if it's a personal mobility device or something that has not been evaluated by the United States government, God only knows what's going to happen when you drive it. God only knows what's going to happen with the batteries. And God only knows what's going to happen with the frame of that chair on a long-term basis. So let's get the tape measure back out. I went on, a, of course, a little tangent there. Front wheel. Front wheel is 7 inches by about 1 inch. Now, this chair holds up to 265 pounds. I'm going to... Put this all the way through to the front of the footrest. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the back of the back wheel here. Your wheel base is approximately 39 inches with this. I say approximately because this is bent a little bit. Okay, so it's approximately 39 inches of a wheel base. That's how long the chair is. Now, if we take a look at the space in 
in between from tire to tire. We're looking at just a fraction over 23 inches, or right at 23 inches actually. So you have 23 inches of width on the actual chair. We'll take a look at the actual height from the top of the chair here to the ground. You're looking at right around 35 and a half inches, 36 inches. It just depends on how it would be measured. This seems like it's pretty straight down. So you're looking at right around 35 and a half inches. If we measure the backrest pad, we're looking at 16 inches of width. And if we decide that we're going to take a look at the space in between the armrests here, we are looking at from the inside of one armrest to the inside of the other, we're looking at 18 and a half inches. Now, if we take this, so we'll just take a look right here and we'll kind of demonstrate that 18 and a half inches. Great to take a notebook, take some notes about this to do some comparative shopping. 22 inches across the outside of the arm rests. And if we're going to take a look at a few other things, these are all things that people have asked for. How, how much space between the actual seat, top of the seat, and the footrest. So if we're going to take this right here and go right to the front of the footrest, we're looking at about 17 and a half inches. How high is the footrest off the ground? When the footrest is all the way down, we are looking at approximately four and a half inches. The footrest is approximately 11 inches wide and the footrest is approximately six inches deep. Okay, the batteries. Let's go ahead and get this battery unplugged. Each battery weighs five pounds. Now let's take a look at the chair here. The chair itself is only 41 pounds. Without the batteries, the chair is 41 pounds. It has earned its, itself the title, especially as the world's lightest power folding wheelchair. We have uh, 21 inches of length in the battery and it's approximately three and a half inches or four and a half inches at the, at the biggest part. And of course, it's a little bit over an inch thick. Okay, so that is the, the scoop on the batteries here. And if we take a look at some of the other components of the chair, the actual seat cushion. Seating area is determined by the space in between the arm rests. That's your seating area. That when you're sitting, that's, that's, you don't want these arms really kind of biting into the sides of your body. So if we took a look from the back to the front, we're looking at 16 inches. And if we take a look at how wide is the cushion, we're looking at about 15 and a half inches of width. Now, if we take a look, and, and this is an adjustable feature, so the harness is adjustable. We can make this a little bit higher, we can make this a little bit lower if we want to. A lot of areas that you can adjust, but if we take a look from the top of the seat to the top of the backrest, we're looking at 16 inches, or I would say a more accurate measure, about 19 inches to the actual top of the handle themselves. Now, I can't really think of any other measurements except for two more, two more. So the actual arm pad here, we are looking at approximately 13 inches. And the from the back of the chair to the actual joystick controller, we're looking at about 17 and a half inches. Okay, so we really have a lot of measurements with this chair. Keep in mind the chair without the batteries is, is just 41 pounds. And we have two uh, 180 watt motors. The chair is weatherproof. We have the ability to put the chair into power chair mode, um, unlock the chair, and of course the chair needs to be plugged in in order to get the juice from the batteries to the chair, which is very simple. So now let's take a look at the a couple of the other features that come with the chair. Now the chair itself, we have, we'll take a look at the charging because that, that's something that's very a uh, very big deal for a lot of people. How do I charge the chair? Well, we give you standard with the chair, an international household charger. You can plug this charger into a 110 or a 220 volt 
um, outlet and what you would do if you wanted to charge the battery in the chair you would just make certain the battery's in the chair see how easy that slides in and out could you imagine having to bend over and fiddle with a bunch of a uh, wire cage uh, trying to deal with some batteries in and out of the chair very very simple the way that we've done things so i keep the battery plugged in and we see that we have three little prongs kind of right in the front of of this charger right here we take a look at the joystick. Now that joystick, you turn the joystick off and you would basically just go ahead and uh, line, line everything up. See, it does have uh, an arrow here. And plug it in and there you go. So the joystick basically will charge the battery that's in the chair. Okay, the other option that we give, now of course the chair comes with a the manual, we give you a video operating manual online that does uh, show and tell every component of the chair. We have a pigtail attachment that you can see locks right into the charger that will plug directly into the battery. So you could charge the battery outside of the chair. We have a seat belt that's not actually attached to the chair, but it has more utility than if it was attached to the chair, which I'll demonstrate. And we have three different wrenches here. Two, two Allen wrenches is the toolkit, so you could see that if you needed to make some sort of tighten or repair, we've given you everything that you need from that regard. Um, and this, in one way or the other, fits just about all of the bolts on the chair. So that, that's another thing that you get directly from the factory. It makes, it makes things a, a lot easier, um, having all of the little components that you would need right at your fingertips to do any sort of repairs with the chair. And then of course, how to charge the battery outside of the chair. It's just a matter of red to red, black to black. Take your pick. We have two different uh, plugging channels for charging. It doesn't matter which one it's plugged into, but that way, if you wanted to leave the chair in the car, but you wanted to charge the battery in the house, you absolutely can. And it's a very simple endeavor. So that pigtail attachment, does come standard with our brand new Airhawk power folding wheelchairs. Our open box or used Airhawks do not always have the pigtail attachment with the charger. And you can see just in the course of this video, even with talking and thinking and acting, it's, it's very easy to be working with the chair. It's very simple to be working with the chair. It's not a complicated chair to work on. It's one of the reasons why these chairs are so popular. Okay, so a lot of people ask about the, uh, the seat itself. Uh, so we'll take a look at a couple things here. We'll take a look at the actual harness. Of the chair, and we do have some ability to adjust uh, some of the features of the chair. Now, of course, the pad itself we have a breathable fabric. A lot of people really appreciate the breathable fabric. And the cover can come off, cold water wash, and we have memory foam in the seat. So it's a comfortable seat cushion. And we take a look at the actual back of the wiring harness here, or not the wiring harness, but the actual chair harness. And we can make this, we can adjust the level of firmness if we want to. A lot of areas that I can adjust to make a chair more or less firm with the back support. So we'll just pretend that I like the chair extremely firm at all times. Um, so I'm going to make these kind of real tight. Okay, and we'll take a look at, as far as the seat belt is concerned, how to attach the seat belt to the chair. Now, I've made a few specific videos about seat belts and about chairs, but this is a 2020 review, so I will go over the seat belt. The seat belt can go really anywhere you want the seat belt to go. And of course, it is adjustable, so I can add a lot more um, length to the seat belt if I want to. And the way the seat belt typically works, I'm just going to attach the seat belt to the chair itself where I want the seat belt to be attached okay high or low doesn't it doesn't matter if I want the seat belt to be held into place you'll see that I can simply put the cushions of the chair 
on over the seat belt and of course the seat belt is still has perfect utility here. okay so the seat belt is held into place very simple to use very simple to attach very simple to take off so it, it gives you a lot of it gives you your decision about when and how you would like to use the seat belt it doesn't impose that there's a a cumbersome seat belt that can easily break that's actually attached to the chair and you're thinking oh great one more part that can just be broken and then i have to deal with it very simple we do have replacement seat belts as well we've never actually had to give a replacement seat belt out folding the chair how do we fold this chair very simple first thing that i like to do for transport is take the joystick off of the chair we just kind of twist the dongle that's in the middle there uh, slides right out. I'm just going to put the joystick in the weatherproof, weather resistant under seat basket. If you have a small, um, if you have a small lock, uh, you, a lot of the time you can line the, the zippers up on this basket and just put the lock through and you have a secure basket. Okay. So there's that little, that little two little holes right there. You see those tiny little padlocks that they sell. That's what that's for. So you can lock the basket shut. You can secure the basket. So nobody can just unzip it and take it. It's a hassle. They would have to deal with a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. Easy to keep people out that you want out. Okay. So to unfold or to fold the chair, I'm simply going to fold the arms around the back of the chair. I'm going to take the cushion off of the chair. I'm going to put this on, on off to the side for just a moment. And I'm going to take a look at the back of the chair here. Okay, now underneath, now this is kind of important to see this. Okay, there's a little wire that basically you pull it toward you. And that's going to allow you to disengage the front of the chair. It's very important that when you're opening the chair, you pull the wire to allow these latch, the two latches. There's a latch right there. I don't know if we can see this here probably can there's a latch on either side okay so this this wire disengages those latches to allow the back of the chair to pass the latch and lock into place so i just want to first and foremost grab just unlock the chair slightly bring the chair forward okay it's as simple as if i just want to push the chair forward and pull the chair back up i can okay um, we'll go a different way also with this chair. So if I just wanted to start to push the chair forward after it's unlocked and help to bring the chair up, I can do that as well. Now with the seat cushion, there's a space right here that opens up when you fold the chair and I'm just going to slide the seat cushion right underneath the chair. I'm going to bring the chair together very easily very simply fold up into a small space now remember how we were talking about those not being anti-tip wheels that's a kickstand that's what that is now this part of the chair the upper back chair this is really really neat we're going to get the tape measure out and we're going to measure these final two things before we close i can unfold this down as well so this really folded up i mean look at this this chair is tiny folded up. In fact, before I even demonstrate wheeling it, let's, let's go ahead and take some measurements. Um, top to bottom here, what are we looking at? We're looking at 31 inches. How deep is this chair? Take a look at the caster to the back of the chair. I mean, we're looking at about 12 inches. It can get smaller than that, but we're looking at about 12 inches. And if I put this up to make it easy to actually pull the chair behind me, if I'm in the airport, this is, I, this is a feature I absolutely love, or if I need to put this chair in the closet or a closet, look at this. So easy just to grab the handle, pull the chair, walk, the chair follows right behind me. I can put it kind of low, I can bring it up. I have a lot of options with this. And if I want to take a, a nice final measurement here, if I have this back part unlatched, we are looking at approximately 36 inches off the ground, about 35 and a half. It just depends on how I hold the tape measure. So 
we've kind of gone over the Airhawk power folding wheelchair. I'll go ahead and latch this chair up. I'm, I'm six feet tall and you can kind of see, just for comparison, this is virtually the same size as a suitcase. With both batteries, it's 51 pounds. And with one battery, it's 46 pounds. I appreciate taking the time out of your afternoon or your evening to evaluate the Airhawk power folding wheelchair, or maybe even morning, who knows. I encourage you to go to quickandmobile.com to, to learn more information. And again, bye-bye uh, for now and thank you.